I can't make out just what sort of a place it was. It seemed to be a gambling house. But there weren't any walls, just a lot of curtains with eyes painted on them. A man was walking around with a large pair of scissors cutting all the drapes in half. And then a girl came in with hardly anything on and started walking around the gambling room kissing everybody. She came to my table. All right, the first virtual reality system I want to give you is, uh, it's, it's kind of, <laughs> it's a really good one because it's completely virtual, it's completely immersive and it's about the only com completely immersive virtual reality system I can think of and that's dreaming, right? Dreaming has this input fidelity. When you're dreaming, you're seeing and hearing and touching and smelling. You even have this internal organ sense, right? Haven't you ever in a dream felt like you're falling and all of a sudden you feel this right in your gut, right? Exactly like you're falling. So uh, a, a dream is exactly that kind of experience. It's a very real experience and all your sensations feel exactly like natural sensations. And the same for output fidelity. All your behaviors seem like they're exactly the same behaviors. You walk in your dreams, you talk in your dreams, you do all the things that you do in real life in your dreams. And they're just as effective. In fact, in some ways, <laughs> dreams have super effective behaviors, right? You do something and, and much more than would happen in real life happens in your dream. So that's a virtual reality and in fact, and when you're in the dream, you believe 100% that what's going on inside that dream is real. And that's the enigma of dreams. That's why dreams are so amazing and so cool is that they have that ability to feel completely real